Medical students today will be telling you five different methods with which you can prove that the given three points are collinear. For proving that given three points are collinear. So first three are distance formula, second using the section formula, and third using the area of the triangle. And in the second part, we'll be explaining two more methods. So this is divided into two parts. In first section, we'll be taking first three, and in the second part, we'll be taking the rest of the two methods. Firstly, we are using distance formula the question says show that the three points are collinear so we'll apply distance formula. So for the quick revision, AB is under root of x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square units. And this is within the square root. This thing. Now we are finding AB. And this is a very basic thing. So we are making it fast. Now calculating C. And this is 5 root 5. So what is your conclusion? The conclusion is that the sum of AB plus BC is C. Distance AB plus BC is AC. That is 2 root 5 plus 3 root 5 is equal to 5 root 5. Therefore, A, B and C are collinear. And you can also tell examiner that AC is the longest side and point B is inside and it is dividing the segment in the ratio 2 is to 3. Now coming on to the section formula. We are taking the same set. Show that. So we all know that section formula is applicable only when the points are collinear. So for the quick review, we are taking internal section formula and I'm taking the ratio, the C dividing AB in the ratio M is to N. So we are taking the ratio as M is to N. So X is And similarly, y component is my2 plus ny1 divided by m plus n. Now, how we can use section formula to show that the points are collinear? For that, what you will be doing, you are writing A, then you are writing B and C.
and you take the ratio as 1 is to lambda. You could also take m is to n or you can take 1 is to k, k is to n, 1, k is to 1, whatever you like. Now we are finding the x component. Now as we find the x component, this is 1 into lambda plus 1 into 11 divided by 1 plus lambda and you place this x as 5. So by cross multiplying you get lambda as 3 by 2. Now when you take lambda as 3 by 2 the ratio becomes 1 is to lambda that is 1 is to 3 by 2 which is 2 is to 3 so the ratio becomes 2 is to 3 now what you do you repeat the process and this time you calculate y component and when you calculate y component it is minus lambda plus 4 upon 1 plus lambda and if you remember the y component is 1 because x was 5 and now you put y component as 1 so you put this as 1 so lambda again comes as 3 by 2 that is the ratio is again so since the ratio is coming same it means it holds the section formula and when it holds the section formula that is only possible when the points are collinear so you will write because the ratio is coming same in each case, therefore, A, B, and C are collinear. There are various other methods. One could find the ratio from X component and can get the value of Y component. And, the, and if the Y component is coming 1, that is also a possibility the points are collinear. Coming on to the third case area of the triangle using the same set of points a quick revision for the area If the vertices are x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3, then area of the triangle is given by 1 by 2 modulus to make it positive x1 within the bracket x2 and finally x3 within the bracket y1 minus y2 square units because this is the area. And if area is 0, means that points are collinear so we'll use this logic so we are calculating the area by using the coordinates and that is and because delta is coming zero points are collinear so in this first section we have done three parts in second section we'll be coming up with two more methods till then goodbye